Somewhere, not that far away, there is a world full of amazing ideas, innovative concepts and enthusiastic people. It is there merely to spread ideas to those interested in learning and discovering new things. Mike is about to enter this world not knowing what he will encounter or even if and how he will come out of it again. There's a huge door that signals the entrance to a strange building which seems to be constantly changing its form. It looks like an old-fashioned school. Immediately the building changes shape and it suddenly looks more like a circus tent. When Mike steps into the tent he finds others there with him, all in anticipation of what is about to happen. What's going on? Mike asks the woman next to him. I don't know, she replies, but it looks like something is about to start. I was just curious about this place and came in. My name is Sophia, by the way. Nice to meet you. And suddenly the building changes shape again. It now looks like a giant clockwork and Mike and the other people around him are in the middle of it. A man in a white coat with grey hair and spectacles comes to the fore. The scientist starts to explain a challengingly difficult matter in such a way that Mike can actually understand it. The guide arrives, but Mike is hesitant. Somewhat reluctantly he follows her and encounters a group he would describe as entertainers though he's not sure what they are planning to do. The building is no longer a clockwork, but looks like a theater. It seems suddenly full of color, as if he stepped out of a black and white movie to enter a new bright stage. Mike is still wondering what's happening to him, but he feels almost giddy like a child on a swing going ever higher and higher. There is so much he has not thought of before entering this world. The theater disappears and Mike finds himself standing in a forest. The architect clarifies that it is a dwelling in symbiosis with the surroundings. Mike is amazed and wonders why nobody else made such an obviously effective design before. The architect explains he started with basic questions. Why do people need houses? Why do they live in boxes? Mike finally understands the idea of this world. Never stop asking questions. Never stop looking for answers. Somewhere, not that far away, there is a world full of amazing ideas. A world where you never have to grow up.